What's going on, y'all? So, down here checking traps. Um, my buddy sent me a picture this morning of uh, this coon right here that we caught. He's trying to catch a coyote right here. He's got a trail cam over here, but we've been seeing the coyote um come like right through this little spot like every other night or so. So I put a flat set in over there and then I put a dirt hole right here. And uh no luck on that coyote, but we got a big old coon right here. So uh he can't he comes down here and checks these traps like every day and lets me know what's going on. So <laughs> he told me about the coon, but he didn't know of anything else that we caught. So I came over here looking because I had a drowning set right here. And uh, I kept looking because I didn't. Hold on, where was it at? My bad, y'all. I went to the wrong spot. I had a drowning set right here. So I kept looking for it and looking because I had made a little, like a little hole right here. Almost like a dirt hole. And I put some sardines down in there. So I come over here, don't see the trap don't see the drowning rod because it was like over here i look to the right and the drowning rod is right there so i'm pretty sure we got an otter down there so i do not see the trap it's pulled all the way down nine times out of ten that's an otter right there so since i didn't know that was gonna be here i'm gonna go um grab my waders and uh we're gonna come back and pull him up so let me go ahead and Take care of this coon, and then we're gonna uh, pull this drowning rod up and see what we got. But it must be a big one the way they moved that rod all the way over here. All right, we got something on the drowning rod again. Let's see what we got. Yep. By the back foot of oh, that's a big one. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, no wonder he pulled the rod out the ground. Yeah. Back foot catch again. And this is in this spot where we was looking the other day. Where one had like stepped right by the trap. Right. That's in that same spot. Well, he come back. <laughs> oh, there's right. two dying. At least we know it was more than one now. Yeah. <laughs> we got a raccoon right there and an otter right here. It's a good day on the trap line out here, man. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, y'all? I'm out here checking traps. We had a new spot today. Um, well, this is the spot where I caught all those beavers last year. Um, I came out here looking for sign a few days ago and uh, I found a ridiculous amount of otter sign down here. Now last year when I had traps out, I didn't see any otter sign, didn't catch any otters over here, only caught beavers. So I came over here looking for the beaver sign, didn't really see too much beaver sign, but there was otter sign everywhere, more than I've ever seen. So, um, I meant to record myself setting the otter traps yesterday. I put four drowning sets down here, but I did it when I got off work, so it got dark pretty quick. And uh, I couldn't really get any filming done. It was dark by the time I was finished. So, anyway, I'm going to show y'all. This is like, right now, I don't know if anything is in the traps. Like, I'm going to record myself going to check the four traps this out here i got one set over here and three over here so i will show you guys the otter sign and if we have anything and it looks like something's over there right now it might be turtles or something but anyway let's see what we got all right so y'all see this is the big pond the two ponds I've been trapping on, where I caught, uh, how long we've been doing this? Several weeks now. Several, several weeks. I had traps on two different ponds, and we caught three otters. But there was literally, like, nowhere near as much sign 
as it is out here. So, uh, I put those traps out yesterday. I wouldn't be surprised if we have something already. So, <clears throat> right now we are headed towards where I have the first trap. And I'm gonna show y'all some of the signs when we get a little closer to it. I mean, there was otter poop everywhere over here. So, it's a good otter toilet over here. Y'all see? It's a huge otter toilet. Poop is everywhere right here. Like as you walk along, you can just see the otter poop everywhere and signs of spots where you can tell they are crossing. But the more you look around here, it's more and more of it. And it goes all the way over there. So when I was over here looking, there, there was some that was like extremely fresh as well. Like that right there. That is super, super fresh. But I mean, it's all around here. Like everywhere you look. And then along that bank over there, there was also a ton of it. Also, over there, there was a ton of it. So, I placed a trap right here, and that thing is blended in. Like, whoo, that looks good to me. I almost want to try to pull some of the dirt from out of there, but I think it'll be okay. They'll probably uh, step on that even more now, like trying to come over here and check out the little spot that I have set up. So, that trap is still there. Which is, I'm, I'm surprised at that, I ain't gonna lie. But um, let's go check the traps on the bank over here. See if we got anything. And I'm gonna show y'all the slides over there. Never seen slides as like pronounced as this. Like it is outrageous how crazy they are. Spots is wore out. All right, so I won't be surprised if we catch a beaver out here, but I'm trying to focus on otters since I saw so much sign out here. Me and one of uh, one of my cousins even contemplating stocking some fish out here. But the fact that it's so much otter sign is making me think it might be some fish out here already. So I might need to throw a line out there, which I'm not that good at fishing. I gotta learn a whole lot about fishing, but uh, it's gotta be something out there already since there's so much auto sign. So, trap right here, still there. So nothing crossed right there. Let's see what we can. Oh, wait a minute. I almost forgot to show y'all, look at that. Y'all see that? They got the ground wore all the way down. That is a slide right there. That's what you call a slide comes all the way across and that's why we set a trap right there so i'm pretty sure at some point that's gonna catch one oh it's a slide right there as well i mean it's a ton of them over here now look at this one jesus christ look at that a, oh we got something we got, bruh, are you serious? We caught a raccoon. Wow, we got a raccoon in the drowning set. <laughs> wasn't expecting that. Definitely wasn't expecting that. But, look at that slide, y'all. You see how crazy that is? Crazy slide right there. I mean, the ground is like war all the way down. So that's how I knew this was gonna be a good spot to sit. And unfortunately, trying to get beavers and <laughs> otters, we got a coon right here. So let me go ahead and get him out. And I got uh, one other trap over here, which is also on the slide. And that trap is still there as well. So 
So, oh yeah, check that out y'all. Slide is crazy. Let me go ahead and get that clean out. This is another slide. I think a beaver or something might be using that one because of how big it is. Slide is huge. Probably should have put a trap over here because something is definitely using this slide. But just due to how flat it is going the whole way across, I'm pretty sure that's a beaver. Probably dragging his tail across uh, the lane right there. So, let me go ahead and get this coon out. It's a big one. <sighs> Whew. It's a big one for sure. What? Well, that's not what we were looking for, but I'll take it. Well, that looks kind of crazy since he's so wet, but we will take him. Um, I'm going to dry him out when I get to the crib. But uh, let's keep it moving. We got a couple more traps to check. All right, I'm at the last traps of the day and I've been contemplating pulling these, but uh, I'm glad I didn't right now. Matter of fact, one of the other spots I pulled, so I'm probably gonna go put them back because I've been seeing a lot of coons moving around again on the cameras. So I done caught my first coon on the drowning set. And we got another one right here in the DP trying to hide. So. We'll go ahead and take care of him and uh, we'll be out of here. But I think I am going to put, um, I don't know, I mean, since these are still working, maybe I'll leave them until the weekend. And then I think over the weekend, I'm going to move these two DPs back to the other spot that I just took traps up from <laughs> because all of a sudden I'm seeing a bunch of coons pop up on camera again. So, let me go ahead and take care of him and We'll be on the way. What's going on, y'all? I'm out checking early this morning. Um, this is one of those spots I was telling y'all about when my family used to put trash back in the day. Um, sooner or later, I'm going to try to clean this up. But anyway, just want y'all to see. I had this little Duke Dark Proof trap sitting here. Man, this trap been sitting here over a month with no catch. And it's uh, it said marshmallows in it, just sitting here all this time. And uh, we finally got one right here. Patience, man. That's a big thing with the trapping stuff. Um, there was a little, there's a trail coming through here, and I knew that this would be a good spot to set. That trail literally comes across and goes right here. It might be hard to see it on video, but in person you can't miss it. It's a trail that comes through here, goes that way. And actually when I was deer hunting um, last season, when I was coming out the woods one day, I saw a coon pass over the trail, like right here where we are. So I uh, knew this was gonna be a good spot. Well, maybe it's not that good of a spot because <laughs> this trap sat here for, oof. It might've been a month that this trap has been here before it caught anything. But we got one this morning. So we're going to take care of him and uh, keep it moving. We got plenty more spots and traps to check today. All right, y'all. My traps been kind of slow lately. But the raccoons have picked back up. There was a stretch where I wasn't seeing or catching any coons. But, um... All of a sudden, most of the other stuff is slowed down and the coons have picked back up. So, I'm going to go ahead, take care of this one, get back on the road. I have another spot to check where I have, I'm pretty sure we've caught another one. I had one this morning, one right now, and I'm um, going to check those last couple of traps in just a minute. So, see what we got. Well, the spot right here strikes again. Got another red. 
I can't even keep counting. I have to go check my phone. This might be like the fifth red that we caught over there. I think that's what it is. I think it's the fifth red. But um, I've been contemplating pulling traps over here. It's been real slow lately. Haven't been catching too much. So uh, I actually was contemplating pulling all the traps over here today. But I mean, we got this catch right here. So I'll probably remake this set and uh, we'll see what happens. But we are hitting that end stretch right now. It's really, really slowed down. So let me go ahead and get him out of this trap and uh, be on down the line and see if we got anything else.